hi so welcome back in the last video we saw how you can create an email account on bluehost how you can open that email account and how you can create autoresponders when you're on vacation or when you're just away from your computer so in this video what we're going to do we're going to connect our email account with microsoft outlook so that you can use outlook for your email instead of having to log into your website all the time so you can use the same configurations on your mobile phone but i'm going to use outlook on my computer so the process is going to be the same because it just needs the ports to access it so once you once you install outlook on your phone then you can even add it on gmail i think you can also add it on the gmail app i'm not sure about that so if it doesn't work i wasn't sure about it so the first thing we're going to do let's go into our email and uh, if i scroll all the way down i can come here into email manager i need to get the settings for my outlook so that my email can work with my outlook so if i come here on this side you see there's this email configuration just click on the configuration And then you choose the email i want to use this email and these are the configurations that we're going to add into outlook so in my case i'm not going to use this private ssl i'm going to use this one without ssl and then i want to open out i want to open outlook so i haven't used outlook on this computer before so let me just go next next your name so ricky wahoa and then the email address i don't want to type let me just come back and copy my email address copy and then I can paste it in there and use your password so you know the password of your email so make sure you add that retype the password then just click next yes i want to allow it to configure the settings so uh i'm not using ssl that's why i'm getting this issue but let me just click next So it couldn't send but this doesn't really matter because I know the reason why is because of the mail server settings. So I can click here. I'll click here so that I can manually add the settings. And uh, if I come here account type up3 incoming mail server. Incoming mail server you see it's different from what they automatically added for me so i'm also going to show you how to avoid all these processes by just doing this manually and then outgoing i think outgoing is that outgoing is also mail outgoing is also this one and then the login information is right and then i can test the account settings let's close that and finish we are waiting for it to synchronize so you can see it's been connected with my account so i can send i can receive i can use this as my email 
provider instead of using instead of using the one that we used here which we went to by going to bizanosa.club slash webmail so that's how you can connect it with this let me go here so one of the reasons why you do want to use outlook is because at some point you may want to change your email your web hosting provider or your email provider and if you do that you're, go you're just going to come here and change the settings and your email will still be here because the database is actually stored on your computer not on the on the on bluehost web servers it will be stored there as well but you'll also have the database here so this is one reason why you should connect yours to outlook let's say you want to add another account so if you want to add another account you'll just come here and just when i click you can see this is a different version maybe you're using a different outlook but i know if you just go into the file options you're going to find it so if i come here i can add another account okay so the first time we tried to automatically get these settings in this case let me say i want to manually set it up then i click next and i will choose this one okay because these are the ports that bluehost has given us so i'll just click on next and here you add your name and then for these other emails i don't know the passwords i don't know the passwords but let me just use the same email anyway even if it refuses this is how it is done okay copy and then i'll come back here and the email address and then in incoming mail server the incoming mail server was this one copy that paste it in there outgoing mail server was the same and then your logon information is your entire email like that and then your password you know your password and let's test the account before we actually put it in production okay so the test failed if i come here into more settings i need to go into advanced and then inside of advanced the incoming server port is not this and the outgoing server port if i come here that's what you need to change you see the supported server port is 26 for outgoing and for incoming is 143 so those are the things that i need to change 143 incoming server port and this is port 26 and once i change this i say okay and i do a test okay login failed we're going to see why close there everything's all right oh damn i just remembered the reason why is if i come back here this is pop3 and if you look here this is imap so 110 is right this is the one that i needed to change not this one okay so the server port is 110 for pop3 and then the smtp port is 26 so once i change that and i test so the login is working we are able to log into our email but the send test cannot send message the email address in your account properties the server responded access denied oh wow oh oh, oh. yeah if you look at this the 26 tells us that it requires authentication so there's something in outlook that i need to check so if i come here into advanced is it requires no it's not that one and uh, outgoing yeah you see this we need to check this so if i check that and i click ok 
I'm going to test the account. And this time round, it should work successfully. So I want to do a simple recap just to show you how you can connect your account because there has been a couple of itches in this. Okay. So I'll go back. Okay. Back. So this is the first step when you decide to add another account. Just come down here into manual setup or additional server types and then click next and then choose POP or IMAP. This is very important and then next and then your name add your name and then your email address and then this is selected automatically and then the incoming mail server so now that i still have this let me just paste it in here so your username is your email and then your password is your email password and then Let's get the server emails and the server mails are where are they? It is mail.bizanosa.com.bizanosa.club. So if you come back into Outlook, the incoming mail server is that the outgoing mail server is that. And this is another thing that you have to do. Come into more settings, advanced settings, and this is 26 not 25 okay and come here and check this because our server requires authentication then click ok and now if we test our connection login correct send test email correct okay so that's how you can connect your email account with Outlook. So if I click next, it will test it again before it adds it into our Outlook emails. So close that and you can finish or you can add another account. So if you want to add another account, you'll choose on manual, choose POP add the details that I've shown you like if you come here you'll choose these details okay and add those details there and then you'll come into where is it okay I can't add until I add something info at bizanosa control v your username is the same as your email address and then you add your password there and then this is very important come into advanced change this to 26 if you're on Bluehost so you can get this from your web host if you are watching this video and you're not using Bluehost just find out the settings in your email area okay email configurations you're going to find something like that every cPanel every cPanel account has it even non cPanel will have it and then come here and check outgoing server requires authentication click ok and if all your details are right especially your name and your password then when you click next your email will be added after testing so that is how you add your email into bluehost how you connect it with outlook so you can connect it to the outlook even if you change your web host you're still going to have your emails here. So this is one reason why you should use Outlook. If you're on an Android phone, I think uh, you can also download Outlook and add this same, same settings, okay? These are the settings you add. If it asks you for the name, you give it the name. It asks you for the incoming server, you give it the server. It asks you for the port, you see whether the port it's asking for is IMAP or POP and then you give it the port. Then it asks you for the outgoing mail server Add the mail server. It asks you for the supported port for the outgoing mail. You add the port there. Okay. So just add this in your mobile phone because that's going to be more convenient for you. So that's pretty much it for this video. And in this video, if I can do a recap what we've done, we have connected our account with Outlook. So you've seen 
that in the first process I did it by having Outlook automatically detect some of these settings for me. So once I add my name, once I added my name, I added my email, I added my password, all of this or some of the settings were automatically imported for me. The only thing that I needed to change was the port, okay? You need to change the, I don't know, was it the port? Yeah, I needed to change the port so that they can match up with these ones, okay? If you use a different port, it's not going to work. That port must match up. That port must match up. That's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know.